What's up guys, Big Boss here and welcome to my second demo mode progress video. Um, as you can see we just got 60 defense and we're just gonna keep going where we left off last episode. Also I wanna thank each and every one of you for the support on my last video. I mean, I asked for 300 likes and we got over 800, I think over 850 right now. So yeah, that's insane support. I wanna thank you all for that, that really means a lot to me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, progress video and I should be PK ready in like a couple of days hopefully. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, we just had 70 magic and I'm pretty much alking while training and getting my defender at the same time. So yeah, it's a lot to do, but I think it's worth it if you're about that no XP waste life. And there we go, 70 attack. I'm probably gonna keep going until 75 and then train strength. Because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you train your attack before your strength, you will actually gain more XP because you hit more often. So yeah, that's why I'm getting like pretty high attack and then I'll go for strength and after that defense. Okay guys, I can kill these Cyclops in the basement right now for the Dragon Defender. And yeah, they drop a lot of stuff that you can uh, elk or sell, so that should make me a bit of money, which is always a nice thing. Oh yes guys, look at that on the floor, what is that? A Dragon Defender, very nice. That means I'm actually done training here, uh, because yeah, this is probably gonna be a uh, PK uh, spot in a couple of days. So yeah, looks very nice. Uh, could still use a room fill Helm, but uh, I guess we're doing pretty good. Just elking the drops I got right now, and this is actually really good money. I'm not sure if it's better than the pyramid, which I'm doing on my uh, alt account to make money on. But yeah, we're gaining a lot of money, gaining a lot of XP, and we're just pretty much straight beast in this. And I'm just gonna train some range now. I'm probably gonna get like 50, I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. And after that, I'm probably gonna do some quests. I'm thinking of the uh, Avis Accumulator quest, and maybe some uh, Desert Treasure Creek quest. But yeah, we'll see. These gains are loyal, we just hit 50 range, and I'm gonna do the Avis Accumulator quest right now. Okay, just trading over a bit of money from my alt account, which I made at the Pyramid. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm gonna buy some more nature runes from it and a Retiite set. No, I gotta kill Calphites, and that's in a multi-area in the desert. RIP. I'm gonna have to risk it, because I need 19 Slayer for the quest. And this should be the last skill for 19 Slayer. Guys, I'm kind of scared to do this quest uh, to be fair with you guys because we have to go to Canafis, which is really far away from a safe zone. And yeah, if I die now, that would suck a lot because I'm actually doing really good and I think I'm pretty much ahead of the game. So I guess we're just gonna have to go for it. I almost forgot you had to do this quest first. And there we go, got the hardest quest in the game out of the way. <sighs> Thank God. And that is Ernest the Kitchen of the way, guys. I think we should be able to do the quest now, finally. Finally, the Avis Accumulator quest has been completed. And yeah, we didn't die, luckily. So I think it's time to do the Desert Treasure pre-quest now, which will take up quite a time, because I think we need to do like five quests. And I'm just gonna keep uh, doing the Agility Pyramid on my alt account to make more money. There we go, got the first one completed, Priest in Peril, uh, wasn't really too hard, except the part where you had to bring the Ascents, which is kind of scary, because you're low on food. 50 fire making, one of the requirements for Desert Treasure, next up is 53 Thieving, which is the most boring skill in the game in my opinion, so yeah, this might take me up to an hour. Kaching, there we go, 53 Thieving, that was legit the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good to go, we got all the levels for the pre-quest, and total levels looking pretty decent as well. Okay, I was joking guys, I think this is actually the hardest quest in the game. Temple of Eikov completed, and someone please tell me, why do I always pick the dark side? And there we go. Another one. And this quest was quite dangerous because it wasn't too close to a safe zone as well. Actually got some levels, nice. Yes, just get me the fuck out of multi. There we go, dead plateau completed. Troll stronghold completed as well. Uh, two more quests until desert treasure, guys. Let's do this. And bam, there we go, two struck completed. I think we need to do waterfall and maybe one more. And waterfall quest completed. A lot of people actually do this quest to get a head start in the game. But yeah, I didn't, I just went straight to training because I thought that was faster than uh, doing this quest since it's the 10 times XP, but yeah, I'm not sure, this might actually be faster because this only took me like a couple of minutes. 
Oh my god, yes, it's finally over guys. Quest memo is done and over with. We just uh, did the desert treasure quest. Make sure I get on the regular spellbook because we still need to hit 82 magic. And there it is. 60 range. And let me just quickly explain why I'm skilled. And um, there was a PK or south of the Grand Exchange. He was quite low level with five keys. So yeah, obviously I tried to attack him. But I don't know how it happened, but I skulled on someone somehow. I don't even know how. But yeah, I'm just trying to lose my uh, my skull here. So yeah, this is pretty much a waste of 30 minutes. But yeah, I gotta make the best of it. Okay, what I'm doing now pretty much is uh, just doing a bit of AFK training while making money on my alt account at the pyramid. And yeah, there's a pretty good spot. It's south of the Gnome Stronghold, if you guys don't know. Uh, these hobgoblins aggro you, so you can AFK for like a couple of minutes. And here are my stats, 75 attack, 72 strength, 60 defense, uh, 60 range obviously, 81 mage and 70 HP. So yeah, I should be PK ready in like not too long. So yeah, stay tuned guys, we're actually doing really good now. One more. Yes, 82 mage, nice, we can use the eyes of this finally. Uh, now it's just time to get 70 range. Okay, I'm just gonna trade over some money I made on my alt account from the pyramid and look at that 280k It's actually really good money if you do it efficiently and are high agility as well So yeah, I'm just gonna train some more range now. I need to get 70 And Bam 70 range finally. Oh my god. Look at these gains. I'm just gonna get my uh, HP level as well And 75 HP as well guys, I would ensure it if I had a 1 mil, but I don't. And yeah, I think it's time for a well-deserved PK break. I mean, I've been grinding for so long, so much, so yeah, I think I need a PK break. Okay guys, my uh, friend just scouted someone at the bank, he says, I'm not sure if he's... Oh, that's him, get him, before he tellies out. Yes, there we go, we hit him, so we can't tell you out now. Since he's under combat, let's go. Oh, he has a rune kite and black the eyes set. Trying to make a run for it, spec him out. Oh, that was actually on the prayer. Oh, this guy's prayer switches are pretty decent, I guess. I think we're gonna have to fake him out. There you go, do that. D skim. Oh, he's trying to make a run for it to the bank. Or I think he misclicked. Freeze him. There we go, nice. Froze him in the same spot. Okay, spec him out. I'm working this guy, I swear to god, if he escapes. I think he's out already, no way. He's actually out. Holy shit, they didn't make it far at all. Come on, get him with the blitz. Oh shit, we splashed. And he's out of run as well, poor guy. But yeah, I need that loot. Just gonna spec him out here. Yeah, good fight, man. There we go. Oh my god, actually a D long in there as well. I didn't expect that at all. Holy shit. Dragon dagger as well. What the hell? <laughs> That's actually bank loot. I'm really excited to see the key. Oh, we got someone. Hit him. There we go, nice. Oh, wrong place at the wrong time. He's with his friend. He can't be j off. that's nice. Okay, let's see. Does he even have overheads? If he doesn't, he's fucked for sure. Okay, he does have overheads. I think he's gonna be out of food soon. I did so much damage. Come on, close the gate. His friend is gonna open it. And he's running south, I don't know why. Come on, freeze him. There we go, nice. Range him, the guy's closing the gate. And he's out, good fight. Should I get his friends as well? Get him! Oh, and he turned out rip. Okay, let's see the loot. What's that? I think that's a super restore. Oh, Dragon Dagger. What the hell? Lockpicks, 60 lockpicks. I know you can sell those for 500 GP each, so that's another 30k in there. I think they were doing a Desert Treasure looking at their uh, loot. Five keys, just gonna wait out the timer now and train at the same time. This is actually a really good training spot. Um, yeah, no one really comes here and obviously you got the altar and a lot of NPCs. So I guess I'll show you guys the keys. Alrighty guys, moment of truth. And oh my god, 440k key. That's actually a pretty good key with the nets and stuff. Um, yeah, obviously the rest is pretty much uh, junk. But yeah, I'm still happy with it. Got a good key in there, a lot of nets which I can use for mage training. So yeah, I'll take it. Okay guys, that's gonna be the end of episode 2, I hope you enjoyed it, and once again, thanks for the support, that really like, motivates the fuck out of me to see that kind of feedback, so yeah, if we can hit 300 likes again, that would make me very happy, 
And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. And thanks for watching, guys.